Welcome back to the Barry Charles Footy Show, your one-stop shop for everything rugby league. How's everyone doing out there? Yes, Payne Huss fiasco continues. Um, the debate between Gallon and Phil Gould on what's a strip and the should have should it have been a try for the Dragons on the weekend. Um, the RLPA and the NRL might be finally getting this CPA deal done. Let's hope so. Kenning, Kennedy Cherrington only got four weeks. Craziness in my opinion. Wade Graham says Bon Voyage. And this is his final year in rugby league after 250 games. And we'll finish it all off with the preview of round 23 as we get... Round 24, sorry. And as we get ready for finals football, we've only got a few weeks left. Who will make it? Who will miss out? Let's get to it here at Barry Charles. Footy show, let's go. Yes, Payne Huss, what is happening here? To me, he is Money Bill 2.0. For the people out there that may not know who Money Bill is, Sonny Bill Williams from the Bulldogs, who went on to move away from the Bulldogs to the Roosters over to Toulon, before that was Toulon, then over to the All Blacks, and then back to the Roosters. Yes, you know how the story goes. Um, Payne Huss is heading in that t directory as well. Is he off to Toulon? I'm not sure about that. Is he going to this, going to um, play for Australia? This is all the things they're looking at at the moment. Um, and the Broncos are already offering him over $1 million. Um, I'm not sure what else this guy wants. He really is holding him, the Broncos to ransom. I would, if it was me, I'd be giving him a deadline. Otherwise, see you later, baby. Now, I understand he is one of the best props in the game, the NRL level anyway, and definitely the NRL level, yet to be proven at the origin level. He's solid, but I wouldn't say he is a game breaker at origin level, but um, definitely at club level, he is a gun, um, ready to let go. Um, would I be paying that much for him? Um, some people say you have to. Well, he's got a big engine. But I'm not so convinced. If I was the Broncos, I'd be giving him a deadline. And if not, see you later. I wouldn't be paying him any more than a million. Honestly, I don't care what prop it is. Does a prop win you the game? No. It helps you win the game. It doesn't win you the game. One, um, very helpful, don't get me wrong. They are very important to the squad. But the most important players in this day and age, fullback, hooker, and halfback. They're the three key areas in your game. And then the prop. Don't get it twisted. The prop's good. Don't get me wrong when other people say. A prop's a decent player. Don't get me wrong. You need that in the middle. They'll be fourth on the list in terms of priorities. And you also got lock as well. So they might be fifth on the list. Um, yes, to me, the... Million dollar player, I'm not sure. I guess he's going to get a million dollars, but to me, I wouldn't be paying that. Um, but yes, for Broncos' sake, hopefully he stays. But the way it's going, it doesn't look likely. Um, yes, well, what about the RLPA? Yes, it's been a bit quiet the last couple of weeks, but last night we heard things that maybe there's a meeting today. Is it happening? Is it not happening? Is um, Andrew Abdo and Clint Newton going to be there? Well, you can probably find out later today, but. I'm just going to give my points here. Let's hope it gets done. It's about time. It's We've had enough of this rubbish of logos covering all this. Is it really doing anything? The media boycott it really is not doing much for the game. I just don't see it at any point of us even continuing to talk about it. It needs to be done and dusted and let's get on with the footy because finals football is around the corner. Yes, well, um, on 100% footy, we had the, the fight of the strip. Yes, the strip. Of Clint Gufferson as the Dragons go in to try and score a winning try. Um, and it gets denied by the video ref. And then Graham Ansley, the leader of the refs, comes out on Monday and says um, it was a try. There shouldn't have been a no try. What are they doing? Absolutely ludicrous. Um, some of these bunker decisions, I'm not sure what's happening. And I also disagree with Gus on this one. But Gus is always about entertainment more than anything else. Or this true belief sometimes. Um, so to me, all you've got to say here is Clint Gufferson's hand was on the ball, stripped it out. It went forward from Gufferson. At worst, there was a knock-on There from Gufferson. There was no knock-on from the... You can't say it's a loose carry. It was stripped out. 
Um, and it should have been a try. And Dragons could have won the game and the Eagles season could have been in tatters. But it's not uh, a fish and chip paper today. But I just had to put it out there that King Guffo stripped the ball. There's no doubt about it. What about Sherrington? Yes. Kennedy Sherrington only gets four weeks for the probably the worst tackle I've ever seen just about. Um, we haven't seen a tackle like that in a long time. Should have got eight weeks, something ridiculous. Should have been out for the season, for my opinion. That's just crazy. That's just as bad and worse than biting, for my, in my opinion. If you're going to break someone's neck, that's how you do it. And she was, as I said yesterday, was smiling. Smiling as she came off the field after doing the spear tackle. Are you kidding me? Is she for real? The hit and she got off so lightly, I can't believe it, but in my opinion. You might have, if you disagree with me, put it in the comments here, but I honestly think she should have been out for the season. That was absolutely horrendous tackle. She's very bad. Anyway, to better news, Wade Graham on his way out. Well, he probably, you could argue, should have retired last year because he hasn't been the greatest this season, but he has been a stalwart for Cronella and Penrith in the past. Coming as a flashy player at Penrith, but he's coming to a solid player. It, the Sharkies winning a premiership. Playing eight eight games for Australia and six for New South Wales and over two hundred and fifty games. He's done very well. And we'd like to congratulate him. And he'll be hoping he gets one more year of finals football before he finishes his career. But that's no guarantee. Well, let's get to the footy. Yes, who is going to win on the weekend? Well, it was a bit of an interesting weekend last week with a few upsets, so we're gonna have it this week. People we're saying that we the results are going to get pretty clear. Well, well it hasn't been clear the last few weeks, so we'll see. Seagulls Panthers. This is a danger game for the Panthers. Seagulls love it at home. The Panthers. This is a danger game. They could the Seagulls have to win. Panthers don't have to. That can be a disastrous thing um, for the for the Eagles. But yes, this is a chance for the Eagles to get it. Put it this way: the Eagles have to win. Yes, the Seagulls are still in the hunt for making the top eight. And yes, they can do it. They can absolutely do it. The Seagulls, they've got a chance. They really do have a chance of making finals football. But they're going to have to start winning. And it's going to have to start today. They've got to win all their games to do it. And get to the 13 and a half. If they do that, they're a chance of playing finals football. Um, but yes, if they lose, you can um, say bye-bye to Seagulls and... 2023 and i think that is going to be the case here i think seagulls will give it a good fight but the panthers should run away in the end and i'm going to say panthers by 12 but it's probably going to be closer than what people think sharks titans well this would have been a big game with the titans they won the last couple of weeks but i think the titans might be on the downward slide here even though they're playing pretty good football to be honest um tino is back that will help and it'll be an interesting game because the sharks won but no one they were convincing for a while but Titans are very good attacking teams, so this could be a high-scoring game. Um, the Sharkies have to win. They have to because they still got to win two more games to make the finals. Was well, two or one? Yeah, they got it. Yeah, two to guarantee it. Um, with the draw here, the yeah, two to guarantee it. they could pretty much sneak in with only one win out of the last four. Some people are saying what? Yeah, it's just the way the draw is happening, and everyone's playing each other, so they've got a chance with their win to get a bit of relief but if they win two more they're definitely in the seagulls with the sharkies i mean so sharkies for me are going to win this by uh, by 12 for me it's going to be a high scoring game could be like 40 points to 50 um 28 or something it's going to be a very high scoring game brisbane versus Parramatta. Parramatta's season is on life support um there's still definitely a hope for making the finals don't get me wrong but they're one of those teams that Going to have to win. Going to have to win a few games to get there. They're going to win two more. Can they do it? That's a big question mark with the draw they've got. Um, and Brisbane are ready to rock and roll here. Um, Brisbane, I can see this being a big win. I, I really do. I think Brisbane are really in form. Eels are going to have to come up with something out of the ordinary because I think they're out of form. Um, I think Brisbane are going to win big here. 18 points. I think Brisbane have got too much in them. It doesn't mean the Eels can't win. Don't get me wrong. The Eels can win this game. There's no doubt about it. If they play their best, they can. They're going to have to because their season is starting to get to the... Um, they lose a couple more. They're out. So they're getting into dire straits here. But um, Brisbane for me. 
Rabbitohs and the Dragons. What's happening here? Rabbitohs and the Dragons. To be honest, you can see an upset here. This is a derby, yes. Big derby, this one. The Rabbitohs and the Dragons. Um, to me, the Rabbitohs have to win. They need to win. Are they going to win? I'm not so convinced. They should win, and they should win big. They really need to win big to really push for the finals. They have to win two more games to make it. Um, let's, they should with the draw they got, but no, no guarantee. This is a big game for them. They've got to make a statement, and I think they're going to. And I'm going to go to Rabbitohs by 24. It's time for the Rabbitohs to really go boom if they want to have any chance in these finals. Tigers and the Warriors. Yes, the Tigers travel to Hamilton, New Zealand for a home game. Thank you, the Tigers, because this is a win for the Warriors. Well, if it's not a win for the Warriors, something's going wrong here. The Tigers are playing better football, and on paper, the Tigers team is not too bad. Like, to me, I look at the Tigers team on paper, maybe just need one or two more players. They're a top 18. On paper, the Tigers have got a good team. So they could, this could be a danger game for the Warriors. I'm expecting the Warriors to get a gun. They need to do it if they want to keep their top two chances alive. Maybe even minor premiership. If there's ups, two upsets this week with Pound Seagulls, and that's that's the hope for the Warriors fans. Is what the Warriors fans are wanting for. Um, but uh, realistically, I'm not. I don't think both of them are going to happen. Um, the Tigers versus the Ipsa. Tigers are not without a hope here, but the Warriors sh should get it done. The War you really want the Warriors to win by big. You want the Warriors to win 18 plus. They really need to put a big statement in this competition. Because they were a little bit sluggish against the Titans. They need to improve. Roosters, Dolphins. Well, Dolphin season is gone. Roosters season could be gone after this game. Roosters have to win them all and rely on results. And I think even if they win them all, their four and against is going to be too bad. So they're going to have to win by some big scores to really push their four and against. Now, maybe it happens here, but the Dolphins have been in every game this season. Um, but I'm going to say the Roosters by 12. The Roosters have to win. Their season's on the line. They lose. They are completely gone. Even though I think they're already gone anyway. But they're still mathematically at home. Storm Raiders. This is a big game. The loser of this game will miss out on the top four for sure. For mine, or Storm can probably still make it. But um, the Raiders, this is a big game for them. If they lose this, they could miss the finals. It's a very big game. I know their draw is not too bad after this, so they might be safe. But they're probably going to have to win. Yeah, they're going to have to win three out of the last four. I'm not sure if they can do it. Just with the teams around them. Well, I mean two out of the last four, sorry, not three. Two of their last four, I'm still not convinced. And if they can win this game, I'd say yes, they will make the finals. But if they lose this, it's going to be they're going to be dancing the tightrope right to the end to make it because of their four and against. It's a big game for the Raiders. The Storm as well. They can entrench themselves in the top four with the one Storm needed. They both needed it. Both teams need it. Raiders need it more. Will they play more for it? I think the Storm will get the stump. This is going to be a good game to watch. Storm by 12 for me. And the last game of the round, the Knights and the Bulldogs. The Knights surely, surely, surely have got to win this. They are a chance of finals football. They have to win three games in the Knights because some of these teams have got to buy and they're all coming into it. The Knights have to win three of the last four to get it. With that, So that draw is either going to cost them by half a point or get them in by half a point So against Manly. So this is a big game, a big game for the Knights. They need it to, boom, win again, keep themselves in the top eight. The Knights are on their way to finals football, I believe. This is They have to win this game. They lose this game, then no finals football for the Knights. They've got the draw to do it. They've got to deliver. The Knights by 18 for me. I'm expecting a big win. But the Bulldogs have got a lot of troop back. With Luke Thompson back. Kick out. They really have starting to fly home. So they could be an upset of the week as well. But yeah. But that's me from the Barry Charles Woody Show. Remember to like the video. Share with your friends. And subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll be back with another video.